Today I speak on Alkan, the science of Alkan. In India, all possible methods and technologies have been used to awaken the Kundalini Shakti, the potential energy of human beings. The modern terms, the non-mechanical parts of the brain. Please understand, mechanical parts of the brain are responsible for your breathing, your blood flow, normal body functions, like a liver function, simple body functions. But the mechanical parts of the brain are only very small part in your brain. There is a huge part, non-mechanical parts of the brain, which is not adapted in normal human beings. In India, different traditions have tried to awaken those non-mechanical parts of the human brain for various reasons, to have extraordinary powers, to have union with cosmos, to have the ultimate enlightenment itself. There are some traditions which use the breathing exercises for enlightenment. There are some traditions which use bending the body, yogasanas, for enlightenment. There are some traditions which use creating right understanding and ideas for enlightenment. There are some traditions which use very subtle, powerful method called Alkan means with right meditations adding energized herbs into the body. It is called Siddha tradition. In South India, especially in Tamil Nadu, the Siddha tradition was very popular. They may disciple to do particular meditation and pranayama techniques and add particular herbs into their system. When the herbs are added with meditation, it awakens the non-mechanical parts of the brain. Paranjali very beautifully describes mind, mantra, ausha. These are the three different methods of achieving Extraordinary powers and enlightenment itself. Aushara means the right helps, energizes, works, different ways in your system. It heals, awakens different extraordinary energies and leads you to enlightenment itself. You will be surprised. There are herbs, energized and given by enlightened being can lead to enlightenment just instantaneously. Because the master, whenever he initiates, he literally gives enlightenment to you for that moment. Unfortunately, your brain and the system is not intelligent enough to hold that energy forever. So it just loses. So almost like a water poured on the inverted part. The part is kept inverted. How much of water is poured on it? And the single drop stays the part. Many of our heads are inverted part. That is why symbolically it is the same shape. That is why any energy master pours does not stay in it. But the right heads are added. Exactly for those few moments. The non-mechanical parts of the brain will be available to hold that energy. The energy is held by the body and mind. Immediately, enlightenment stays in your system. If the energy stays in your system for 21 seconds, that's enough. Then we will open the doors. 
it cannot again be lost. It cannot again be lost. So those helps are really called Navapashan. Understand? Pashana means literally in Sanskrit poison. That's the word. But when this process, it is not poison. It is poison for your ego, not poison for your body or mind. It is a very powerful process. It is not actually poison in an ordinary sense. These herbs are actually saves very life and heals very body. Our masters have used all possible methods and techniques to heal human body, mind and consciousness. This Navabhashan and this unique herbs are specially created in the planet Earth. The science is specially made available to planet Earth by a great Siddhas from southern part of India to make the bio memory available to the master's energy. See, when you open, when your body opens itself to the master's energy, first instant healing, spontaneous healing, quantum healing, that's the first step. The second, evolve high mental state, beautiful, blissful mental state. Third, body and mind, which is ready for applying it. So naturally, master can be just like that you can share it. It's a very rare science for the Navabhashana to happen. Three things are strong. One, the right stubborn person who is in the field of construction, of traditional architecture. Traditional deities, traditional temples. Second, the person who is master of the science of health, who knows where it is available, where it is, where you can get it and collect and do the process. Third, an enlightened being who can put energy in. It's a very rare happen. Happened 2000 years before once in a place called Parana in Tamil Nadu. A great Siddha, Boga, he was master of all these three. He was an architect, means a traditional stubborn who can build deities and who knows the science of herbs because they are a lot of associates. Decide to score from tribe. Different tribes, tribal people. So he was able to collect all those medicines and herbs. And third, he himself is an enlightened Siddha, Mahapurush. Unfortunately, for the last 2000 years, all three combinations happened was almost impossible, never happened. By the divine grace, after 2000 years, maybe two years before, again, all the three fell in place properly. Maybe the world wants once more the science of Siddha tradition be made available to the world. Cosmos wants the science of this Siddha tradition made available to the humanity for the sake of physical, mental and spiritual healing. And we had the fortune of being a space where that can happen. We had right, stability and person who knows the science of creating deities and temples of stability who built this temple. Is the Stavati who built the largest temple tower in India, means the whole world, the Sri Lankan temple tower, largest 
ट्रेडिशनल टेम्पल टाइम इस फ्रेयर नो टेम्पल टाइम इस तस्ता पर यू बिल्ड है नॉट ओनली ही नोस बिल्डिंग द डेटिस द साइंस ऑफ क्रिएटिंग डेटिस एंड टेम्पल्स ही नोस द साइंस ऑफ दिस हैज एंड हैज हैड राइट कांटेक्ट्स राइट पीपल तो कल रिक्यूर हैज एंड he also had some more contacts to collect the right herbs and fortunately the architectural excellence intelligence of property and this and some other people's knowledge about the herbs and my presence energy all the telling place beautifully but as happened is ananda lingam In our ashram, in my case alone. That's not fair. Great test happened of this century. Please understand. In the spiritual consciousness, this is one of the great test happened. All you need to do is just sit in the hands, in the steps of the by this alone for. 21 minutes and and just apply ash basma on your body take bath in the vaidya sarovar the water which comes out of shivalinga and after the bath again sit there for at least 5 minutes in the bath and feel the chillness and inhale and exhale Using the whole body, please understand. I am giving you the exact technique of how to use by this alone. He said, spiritual energy field. How to use it completely for the optimum benefit? First, sit at the mats and stretch for 21 minutes. Apply the ash all over the body and take bath. From the water, which comes out of Shivalinga, of course the whole water is water out of Shivalinga. It gets stored there. You will be surprised. Just from the same spring line, before it touches the Shivalinga, Ananda Linga, if you take that water and keep it in the water, it will be spoiled by 15 days. If you take water, just after 10 seconds, it travels from the Ananda Linga and comes out. That water. It does not get spoiled for six months. The experiment. Same day, the milk. If you take the keep, it will spoil within a day. Same day, pour it on the milk, and when it comes out, take it. Just take. Maybe it will travel on the shelling for ten to twenty seconds. That's all. Take the milk and keep it for fifteen days. It will not be spoiled. It is finished. The power of the herbs and energy. So take part in the water. Sit again on the banks for five minutes. Inhale and exhale using the whole body. Your body will be healed. Your mind will be peace. You will be ready for initiation from the master to hold the energy. In your body, mind, and biomemory. Please understand. This Ananda Linga is one of the powerful, most powerful happen in the cosmos in last two years, and it's one of the precious gift given to humanity by the cosmos using this body. Say thousands of healing miracles happened to the people who took part in the Ayodhya Sarovar, and thousands of spiritual experiences for the people who took part and meditated on the banks of Ayodhya Sarovar, and thousands of benefits people experienced. By studying Shivaya and the dance of 
Haji Sarobar and a very spiritual experience by doing a mission directly to the Ananda Linda. More than me explaining to you in words, I sincerely request all of you to come and experience Ananda Linda. I invite you all to come and live and experience Ananda Linda, the power of Ananda Linda, how the medicinal power heals your body, how the energy heals your mind and both prepares your body and mind for the initiation from the Master to lead you to the enlightenment itself and meditating on the paths of the Vaidhisarova, the presence of the Ananda Linda, how it helps you, leads you to spiritual experience and ultimately enlightenment itself. So, let you all use the Ananda Linda and experience enlightenment. Let you all achieve and radiate the eternal bliss. Nityan, thank you.